Hello everyone, this is Akuchi, back with some more Dominion. I'll be playing a World Cup tiebreaker match versus Marin. In the quarterfinals of the World Cup, USA B team, uh, of which I am a member, and uh, France's team went even in match and game results. So now we have a first to 2.5 tiebreaker. So we're going to play four games, alternating start. Um, if anybody gets 2.5 wins or more, the game is over. If we are tied 2-2 two -two, after those four games, there will be a fifth deciding game with a random start. I think we are ready to go. got goons, old witch, cultist. Um, we do have trashing and rat catcher, but those rat catchers will be put to put to work here. Um, yeah. Ooh, this could be a rough rough time to be. Player two, I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is a, this looks like a five, five card kingdom. Definitely want to win workers villages, but also important to get a good fast start with the goons when we can, and then either cultist and or old witch early to dish out some, some pain. But yeah, you definitely want to be the one with six or more workers villages, I think. For a lot of reasons, this goons actually doesn't seem as important as it usually is. I mean, I I, I don't think there's actually going to be too much time for a second goons. <sighs> Workers village is going to pile, runes are going to pile, and then rat catcher and or uh, curses are going to pile. So, yeah, waiting on Marin. Uh, Marin is player one, unfortunately. Flipping at these bands. So Marin band, Swindler, Tournament, Wall, Aqueduct. Interesting. Rebuild, Ilgotten Gain, Salt the Earth. Uh, so this has got to be a either a silver silver or silver rat catcher opening. I think maybe as player two, I'd do the silver silver. Then I have to decide between Cultus or Old Witch. Oh, come on. 2 5, really? Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Probably want to do the opposite. Whatever Marin does. 
thing about tower is the runes, you know, they're obviously going to be annoying, get in the way, yada yada yada, but if you get a bunch of them, they will be worth some points, and this game is going to end on piles. Curses are never going to be points, although they are negated by tower once the pile's empty. Okay. I think I'm going to get cultists then. Especially here where I have a chance to hit uh, double five. A pretty reasonable chance. Alright, alright. So, I don't know. I wanted to get clean with Ratcatcher, but I don't really see how that's going to happen anymore. So it's already a lot of workers' villages. Might be content with two cultists. Because he's not really contesting. Oh boy. Yeah, that's really nice. giving out a lot of junk. Yeah, I mean, I think we've just clearly lost this game. But we will get goons. And we were able to put two ruins into his shuffle. So it's not all lost. But pretty bad news. Yeah, he's going to get just a lot of tower points. I think I want a worker's village here, to be honest. Hmm. I'm a little concerned about drawing dead, but... It's also the shuffle that trigger. I might, I might not play this cultist. Because I've got a goons in there and a rat catcher. Yeah. I think it's important. Okay. Sure didn't have any good cards left, though. Hopefully he plays Old Witch. Nope. That is a lot of rat catchers. Oh, okay. Um, I think I'll trash the curse, though. It's like, yeah, Old Witch can end up trashing it later. But there's not a whole lot later in the game anyway. I don't know, he did get another old witch. Do I want to trash the estate instead? Yeah, okay. We'll do it. Alright, so we're pretty far behind. Like, he's going to get points from Ratcatcher for sure. I think I want to buy Worker's Village here. Maybe? Maybe Cultist. I don't think there's going to be, like, a curse left to give.
Yeah, that's painful. Yep, he won the Radcatcher split 7-3. Okay, cultist or worker's village. Let's go one more cultist. This is crap, man. My other rat catcher is missing the shuffle. <clears throat> Not going well for me. Do I get another goons? No, I don't think so. I wonder if I should just get coppers now. This little VP might matter. You can also buy the curses. I'm gonna get them anyway. I'm into it. So hopefully I can end it like on workers' villages before the ruins empty. Thinking about trashing the cultists with Ratcatcher. I think I do it. Kind of just gives the opponent points at this at this stage. So that's 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 a problem. That's definitely a problem. Yep, it's probably game. Yep. Hmm. Well, rough start, but I do like being. Going first uh, on games two and four. So let's see if we can just win these next three games. I could have done about that one. Need a small break after 15 minutes? 
Okay. We don't want to rush, rush these remaining games. We tend to play pretty poorly when we, when we play fast. I don't know why I use the first person plural. I guess it feels more collaborative when I'm talking in voice chat. Um, here we go. Game two. Mm, no counting house shenanigans that I can see. No trashing? Er, rough. So we got Ironmonger Margrave. Menagerie, but with no copper trashing. Also got a crossroads, which we're definitely gonna have a couple of. Outpost is a maybe. It's a probably. Um, yeah, with Citadel, yeah, Outpost is gonna be pretty good, I think. Also, summon. Alright. So we try to build at least two Margraves early. Uh, actually, I'm with the Margrave attack, Menagerie should be able to get an activation for sure. And then Peddlers, of course, with extra buy from Margrave. Yeah, we can build here. It's just going to be inconsistent. Summon will help a little bit. Ooh, Summon Menagerie. If you get attacked, could be good. Can make that work. I mean, Summon Ironmonger is, of course, good as well. Uh, so our opening is Ironmonger Silver. Pretty, pretty obvious. No, it's not. It's going to be Crossroads Margrave. Okay. Well, change of plans. I guess the speed with which I click that crossroads makes it mm -hmm. kind of clear that I have a 2-5, but that's okay. I don't really need deception. The Urkai can gain Changeling. It's still pretty terrible, but not, not, not abysmal. Ooh, well, <laughs> well. I'm getting all the luck this time. So we could either get a Margrave or Summon an Ironmonger. I think I just want to attack with Margrave as often as possible. So one more Margrave and then we'll go in for Ironmongers and Menageries and such. This is unfortunate. Well, no, it's not. We could see crossroads. And I can potentially just go without getting a silver, which is really cool. Yep, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. I feel pretty bad to be Marin in this situation. I literally draw my deck right now. And Peddler is free. That's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I, 
I might even get outpost here. I mean, that's like a, a greedy play, but... Wait, can I... I might even be able to get Citadel here. That would be insane. Yeah, I have a 75% chance to get Citadel here. That would be insane. Amazing. <laughs> this is just... This is resignable. This is pretty insane. So we go with Outpost, Peddler, Summon, Ironmonger. Oh, that kind of guarantees what gets Citadeled. That's fine. I just don't want a dud, right? It's the only way I lose. Yeah, we have nothing good down there. So, Peddler... Um, probably just summon two Ironmongers. I maybe we want to summon the Peddler, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and summon a peddler, summon an ironmonger. Okay. Well, we could summon three things. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. I'm going to summon three peddlers, I guess. Yep, that was uh, ridiculous.
That was pretty insane. All right, Marin start. And we've got Highway with Awkward plus by. Mm, the draw is also non existent. Well, there's Jack Forager, but where's the village? There is none. Yes, yeah, so this is an awkward board. No way to get a complete mega turn. Well, there's Devil's Workshop. Imp draw. Um, it's possible. Okay. Sure is difficult, though. Let's see. Imp can play Highway, Sentry, Forager. <sighs> can get a reasonable hand size. I think it's worth trying to build pretty big. Uh, how do we feel about Jack? I think Jack will help us get some imps. We can later trash it to Forager. If I open Forger Jack, then they collide. It's pretty nice. Normally, on this kind of board, you want to hit like five for Sentry as quick as possible, but I don't see the urgency with Forager and Jack in the kingdom. Or like opening Forager Jack. Hmm. Now with Forger, we might hit only three, which is which is awkward. But usually we hit four with Forager, which is enough for Devil's Workshop. I think we want a one Devil's Workshop kind of thing. We'll see. See if he goes Jack or Devil's Workshop. Any yeah, gold at Devil's Workshop is okay. It's pretty okay. But he goes with Jack. Then I will follow, and here I'll get a Devil's Workshop, and then next turn, hopefully, I have Collision. So the only pile that I see emptying is highway, kind of naturally. Interesting. That's good. So here we can trash two estates. That only brings us to three. Uh, we kind of really want to... higher. We don't want to power up his foragers. No, I'm, I'm mistaken. This will trigger a shuffle, actually. Um, not sure if I want to keep or discard. I think I'll discard. Alright, that worked out. Uh, we didn't draw silver or Devil's Workshop. So where do we go from here? So 
What do I have in those six cards? I've got one silver and a devil's workshop. Do I even want anything with the Devil's Workshop? I don't think so. So we either get a second Forager, or we do Scouting Party here. Try to discard the Estate and the Devil's Workshop. Yeah, Devil's Workshop gaining um gaining a four cost card is not particularly good here. So let's scout. I'm glad I did that. That was a pretty bad next turn. Alright, here I think we get sentry. And we get highway after that. Or we get capital after that? Alright, he trashed the copper. Good to know. I have a forger in here, unfortunately. On the other hand, I can get an imp, which is cool. I just probably get, like, forger number two. Do have room for one terminal. I guess it's Jack. So I can support four imps, maybe? Well, the fourth imp is a terminal. Yeah, okay. Can support four imps total. Good to know. Um. Yeah, we're going to keep that. Alright, and this will be a little unfortunate to see both our silver steer. Um, this will be capital or highway. I think capital. I think we'll have an easier time hitting two highways with capital than we will with highway. This looks like a turn where we might be able to hit five as well. Oh, we draw. Okay, so we draw three cards if we play Forager before um, Jack. Okay. Alas. Do we want that? Not necessarily. I really do want an imp, don't I? Or would I prefer a gold? Forger, Copper, Imp. Hmm. 
That doesn't seem too inspiring. Don't feel too inclined to scouting party either. Let's get a gold. Hmm. Yeah, not quite here. We'll, we'll get the we'll get the forager, I guess. Highway forager. Imp. He's thinner than I am, but I have the imps. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. So at the moment I have four total buys in my deck. Probably can't support too much more, maybe one more capital at some point. I've got two imps, so I need two more. Need to get to trashing. A lot more copper, I could be trashed. I don't know if I have three or four copper. I guess I have four. Yeah. So he's a lot thinner than I am. Four cards thinner. Although he's, he's like a turn ahead right now. I might be able to trash two cards this turn. He also possibly has more silver. He's got two jacks. I think I passed up playing jack once. If I were Marin, I would consider not doing that. I think I would go like highway scouting party highway. Like you could definitely build the double province here. Not doing so seems like you're handicapping yourself quite a bit, even if you don't want to do the devil's workshop imp thing. Ugh. Lissai. Okay. It's a little bit concerning, but I'll play the Imp, of course. Okay. I 
There are definitely a lot of cards that we can draw dead. Maybe it's time to trash the jack. So our options are trash silver and jack, trash gold and silver and play jack. Trash forager play jack. So the cards we can draw, that we don't want to draw, are Imp, Century, Highway. We do want to draw Estate, Devil's Workshop, and then the Treasures are fine. Trashing Gold will power up his Foragers, though. He's got three Foragers. I don't think we want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm trashing the jack. Do we go on a scouting party? I don't think it's worth the debt. I'd like to draw an imp. That'd be nice. Also, that was all our plus buy, so this Devil's Workshop could be real sad. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if we made some some mistakes that led to us being so far behind in trashing. He did get a second forager earlier. I was just thinking the sentry would make up for it, but it's only trashed one card in two plays so far. And this is would be a miracle if I could trash two cards here. Well, not really. We have we have, we have three bad cards. <laughs> Oh, the pain. That is painful. Do we want to trigger a shuffle here? Um, so I kind of like want to see a forager or a capital. Yeah, we're going to try it, I guess. Nice. So, this is not great, though. I really do want an imp. Go imp number three. 
That was a nice miss. So we're going to need to dip into duchies at some point. An extra sentry, I wouldn't mind. We're going to see how long we have. We can build for. Uh, another possibility, we can like trash an imp with a forager. Like we can keep, we can use Devil's Workshop as gains gaining imps. It's an option. Definitely don't think we can support three foragers, so we need to trash a forager to forager pretty soon. Okay. This is a pretty good turn. I think we trash forager, right? Brings us up to... Oh wow, yeah, that looks really good. I mean, we can also trash gold, silver, but I don't think we want to do that. Oh, we can get four highways. And we could scouting party if we want. That would only cost us one debt. With all these highways, I think that's worth it. Now we have enough highways. I potentially have a big turn here. I wouldn't mind another sentry. Uh, so we'll see if we draw an imp with our imp. If we don't, I think we play highway here. did okay cool let's do that um, those are all good cards all right now we imp forager oh Oh, he only has two foragers. I'm, I'm wrong about things. Okay. Uh, so we can get some provinces here. We can get three provinces. Seems pretty okay. We get rid of the silver or the forager. If we don't need the money, which we don't, we should probably get rid of the silver. That gives us more flexibility next turn. I do want another imp. I think I want three provinces. There's no, act, there's no way, unfortunately, to use scouting party here. So what's the final card I want? Do I want a sentry? I kind of I need to commit to winning next turn, right?
That's what I feel like. So that would be three provinces in a century. And if he gets a province, he's up to 29. I'm at 18. So I would need just province two duchy to win. The alternative is that I protect myself from having a dud next turn, which would mean I get two provinces and a duchy in a century, maybe. That might be the safer play. It's like, how hard is it to get two provinces? If I play five highways, then duchies are free, and I get the two provinces from a capital play or from forager plays. Like, it's pretty easy, I'd say. So I think the safest play is province, province, duchy, century. Could also go a highland, so Imp could play it. I think that's a little too fancy. Oh, 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 but what if he has a dud? Don't I want to end it next turn? I mean, if I have a good turn, I can definitely get three provinces. Yeah, I'm just going to be a little careful here. Could get a duchess. No, let's limit the stop cards. Okay, this looks great. century we should definitely be able to find another imp with two centuries we found it you don't want to discard that I don't think all right let's century again What are we really looking for? One more forager? More highways? So what do we need to win? Two provinces and a duchy. We only need three buys for that. We cannot play any more highways, so we need eight coins. Oh no, we need nine coins. So we play two for, yeah, we can forge the imp, right? Forge the forager, forge the imp. And that should do it. Okay, that was big. That was huge. So we go up to one. And it's our start. Feel good about that win.
so I need a tie. Wait, I'm first player? We need a win. All right. Nine, but a tie also works. Procession, huh? Looks like a pretty okay procession board. Ooh. Processing experiments seems amazing. So Margrave, Lost City. If we process into Lost City and then play a Margrave, that's that's a nice order. Then there's Relic. The attacks are pretty big here. Margrave plus Relic. All right, so how do we want to start? I do like the idea of having a pair of fishing villages. So I think I want to open fishing village, either two fishing villages or fishing village silver. I want to avoid Shantytown if I can. So we want to get a Margrave. I think Fishing Village Silver is, is, is what I'm looking at. Well, we can avoid Silver if we don't want it. Either with Fishing Village Experiment or Fishing Village Fishing Village. And there's no trashing. And we want to add a relic. Hireling's actually going to be pretty good. I mean, process, process into Hireling. But I think we definitely open Fishing Village, and then... How do I feel about... Double Fishing Village, like, we might miss... We might miss five. We really want to get Margrave, don't we? Like, if we hit four twice, that's really sad. We could, I guess, procession experiment and hope for the best. I'm just going to get my fishing villages now. Even that terrible situation doesn't sound too terrible to me. Uh, but now we have the choice of do we get procession? Nope, because we can't play a duration card. So we get experiment here. If we hit 4-4, four, four, we'll get procession on, on turn 4. Hoping very much to collide it with experiment. Shantytown, okay. Okay, good, we did it. So we get our Margrave, and we have a fishing village down. This is perfect. He had a good draw, but I mean that fishing village is, is not going to help him out in the long term. Uh, I think we want two Margraves. That's usually how how these things work. It's also the easiest plus buy here, which isn't the most important thing in the world. We get we've been very not, uh, lucky with these fishing villages, and it looks like we get to attack with Margrave first, which is very good. Um, we'll go Margrave first. I think we want to play these experiments. We have another Margrave, and we have a fishing village. Seems like a fine shuffle to trigger. All right, now we have five cards, and we know there's a fishing village and a margrave in there. So I might stop here. On the other hand, if we draw the margrave, 
Then we can get up to eight coins. It's pretty good. If we draw the fishing village, we can play it for next turn. That's pretty good. And if we draw both, we're just we're just living the dream. So I think we want Relic Experiment here. I, think I like that attack. Not quite ready for procession, I don't think. But we're getting close. Getting real close. If I had 10 coins, I'd get Experiment, Experiment, Procession. Yeah, let's get this relic. Looking great. Looking great. We've had some good draws after the first game. Great draws. Alright, this draw's okay. Mm. Thinking about Rabble. If we had Yeah, I think I think I like Rabble. Hmm, we didn't get attacked. That's nice. Got a relic in those two cards. Let's see if we can find our other fishing village. There's definitely no guarantee of that. I think it's still worth it to play these things. All right. I think it's time for some procession experiment stuff. We waited long enough. Okay, okay. All right, we don't need the rabble. Rather keep the experiment in hand. Hmm. Well, there goes our procession. This should just be double experiment. Got it. Um, we don't need that last experiment. Seems the most optional card of the three. He's, he's got that, uh, that was a good rebel. He's got that, um, shantytown working out for him. I probably built a little too slow, a little too hesitant on the synergy. Let's get a procession in our deck, I think. Uh, do we want to rabble before we Margrave? I guess so. 
seems like the way to do it. Overly thrilled with the cards that are in there. Okay, I'll leave a procession on top. That looks fine to me. Okay. We kind of want to process a procession, right? Pretty important. If we have enough draw, we can also do good stuff with Cordier, I guess. Process Cordier into Hireling or something. So we definitely want Experiment Procession, right? Oh, and we don't have the money for Cordier, so I guess we get another experiment. Maybe we can make this work. We kind of want to see both our processions. Oh no, he relicked me. That's pretty annoying. He didn't Margrave me. So, yeah, we could have a procession as our top card, in which case we should play the experiment first. I think. Yeah. Wait, do I have three processions now? Oh, I think I do. There is something to be said. It is a tough call, I think, on whether we play the experiment first or not. I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with we just start with procession experiment. Oh boy. Really? Uh-oh. Oh boy, that's bad. That's really bad. Rabble is real nasty. Shoot, he got two processions? Dang. All of a sudden, this is not looking good. No, he got one procession. Okay. Do we need more safe procession targets? I don't mind chaining, though. I don't mind chaining. Oh boy. Oh boy. We have. Do we have two processions in those? Is that our last two cards? I really hope he doesn't relic me. Okay. Maybe this works. Am I just not keeping track of what's going on here? I think I have two processions there. Yep, 
Cool. Um, Ravel, I think. Okay, we gain a five cost. Let's get one more rabble. I'm just gonna play this Margrave. Okay, excellent. I'll decide whether or not to play the last fishing village. Now we can process, process again, which is really strong. Process, process, experiment, ravel. And now we'll gain a courtier, I think. We got plenty of draw. So we can process, process, courtier. Could like gain golds and stuff. Everything's two type, right? Do we actually want to process, process? Or do we do it single? We actually need some more plus actions to play these hirelings. I think I like Process, Process, Courtier, Experiment, Gain Golds, get a Highway. We definitely need to play this Fishing Village. Alright, so we're going to have two actions. Uh, no, we're going to play Experiment twice, so we're going to have four actions at the end of this Procession thing. And we need to play four actions, so that works out fine. So we can use Cordier. We can use Cordier for coins and gold. I think. And we're gonna gain. We're gonna actually gain another Cordier. I guess. which we can process, but then we can't draw it. We're gonna get some provinces and stuff. We're gonna have a lot of cards in our next hand and two fishing villages. Yeah. You know, we're not going to have a ton of buys, and we kind of like experiments, don't we? 
Maybe we should process a Margrave. Or maybe we should get plus buy from a Courtier. There are a lot of things that I'm not sure of here. So, I think we want gold coins for at least one of them. That's going to bring us to being able to buy two provinces. And then maybe gold buy. Or coins gold. I mean, we don't need the gold, right? Just helps our next turn out a little. Can we even use that? I think we should be conservative. So we get buy coins. We have 20 at that point. We get up to 23. Let's do it this way. We could get a lost city here, but that doesn't really help. Yeah, it doesn't help. Yeah, that order is not correct. We should do Ravel later. Okay, and I don't think we want to process this courtier, but here we can get coins as well. Action coins. We have four processions, that's pretty good. I think we just get experiments here. To make the deck work. Although the processions might be gone. Are we confident that we can end the game next turn? Not really. Still experiments are probably the best best thing to get. This is a little awkward with not having any fishing villages. And here we've got Mountain Pass. I'm willing to bid a pretty decent chunk. Kind of like normal amount, I guess. 13 or 14. 17? For 9 VP? I don't think so. I think I can power through provinces better than that. Was a turn. Interesting. We only have two Margraves, right? Hmm. Okay. Good stuff. We can get more processions and do lots of lots of great things. So let's have a big turn here, shall we? 
Um, experiment first, then rabble, I guess. I think I have another procession. Wait, don't I have another rabble? Maybe not. Oh, I might be out of draw. Uh, still probably... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually think about that. Um, I think it's still probably best to do that. All right. So we can gain gold, certainly, if we want. Um... Do need some more buys at some point. Do we want to do the same thing we did last time? Action card for five. Could get another rabble. Yeah, that looks like the right thing to do. And we could process a courtier, but I don't think that makes too much sense. All right, money we have. 15, 17, 23 right now. I mean, I guess we just want buy coins and we'll just figure it out. That'd be 26. So after, so we'd have 10 left. Yeah, that looks good. A little unfortunate not to have a fishing village in play, but maybe we'll get one more or something. And here we definitely get, I don't know, maybe there was piles possible. We can potentially get all the provinces next turn. That seems better. So do we want to get a fishing village or just get more experiments? I think more experiments, because we have quite a number of processions left. Let's just take it kind of nice and easy. So yeah, we should, I mean we should be able to end it this turn. We'll see if he fleets.
point. I am prepared to process this experiment right away. Now I think I'll process a Margrave. I mean, we do want to chain processions if we can, but we can figure that out next time. Just really want to get our draw. And find our fishing villages. Oh, did he discard both of my fishing villages? I think he did. That's inconvenient. Hmm. Let's play one of these, and now we can process, process. I think we process, process. Margrave and then experiment. So he still hasn't bought fleet. I guess we, I guess we rabble here. Hey, finally. Cool. Are we out of processions now? Probably. So we can. Not in the game, unfortunately, but uh, we did it. We managed to win. And so Team USAB will be advancing to play Germany in the semifinals. Until then.